Hi, my name is John Patrick Morgan, and this is the video number four of the five-part series on the creating philosophy, my perspective on creating everything and anything you want in your life. It's also five videos on why you should join my creator's class, but I'll talk about that in a second. Video, uh, principle number four is you can change your thoughts. You can change your thoughts. So I'm throwing this out there really for people who have at least begun or begun on this journey or, or have found a lot of success in this journey of finding peace in the realization that you can't control your thoughts. Wait, what? I'm making a video saying you can change your thoughts and I'm saying that the place to begin that the understanding of that is the realization that you cannot control your thoughts. Both things are true. Let's go in a little bit more subtle here. So the, the most peace, the most well-being, the most groundedness, the most freedom comes from the realization that in any particular moment, thoughts are just happening. You're not doing thinking, you're being thought. They are occurring and you're experiencing them. And in this moment, I have zero agency, zero power over what thought arises they just come. They're like waves surfacing on the ocean. It just happens. And so in that moment, all I can do is focus on how do I ride out this wave? Am I going to ride with it and utilize its power because it's going to help me create something I would love? Or is this not leading in the direction of what I would love and I'm just going to try to raise, ride this one out and go over it until it's gone. Just let it go, right? So I can't control my thoughts. They're just happening. They're like waves arising. That is fundamental and foundational to the understanding that you can change your thoughts. What? What I mean by that is that you can change the destiny about which thoughts arrive and show up and emerge in the future. So to use the metaphor of the wave, the waves are just emerging. They're just showing up. But where are they coming from? Well, to be specific, waves are the result of a dance between the currents beneath the surface of the ocean and the winds blowing through this, the air on top of the surface. These two things meet, these undercurrents and the circumstances of wind, and waves emerge. And in that same way, the winds of circumstance of things happening in your life, the sun rises, the rain clouds come, somebody yells something, somebody doesn't pay an invoice, whatever it is, those are the circumstances and those winds of circumstance, they meet the undercurrents of, going back to the previous video, your state of being, your way of being, your character, your uh, experience of the world and the actions that come from that, right? That's the undercurrent. There's a, there's a preconditioned response to circumstances in the same way that there's a current beneath the surface of the sea that's meeting the wind, and so that preconditioning, that patterning meets a circumstance and a thought arises. So that thought just happens, right? You can't control that happening. You can create a witness distance to it so that you're not subject and, and engaged in having it just toss you all around. You can just sit back and watch it, have some freedom. That's foundational, fundamental. And though, what you do with your focus and what choices you make about which directions to take your attention, when you've got that, that, that the distance and that witness capacity, that has a very consequential, uh, it's very consequential in what thoughts arrive tomorrow. What thoughts arrive in an hour from now? What thoughts emerge and show up spontaneously on their own the next day and the days ahead and the weeks ahead and the months ahead? And so, what you do in the moment of a thought arising isn't just about distancing yourself from that experience so that you're not subject to it and pulled along with it if you don't want to be. It's also determining how likely it is that that thought will arise tomorrow. So you can actually shift the currents beneath the surface of the ocean so that next time there's the same wind, a different wave emerges or the waves emerge in a different direction or no waves emerge at all because the currents have changed. Maybe there's no currents right now in that area of the ocean. Or maybe they're flowing in a different direction. You can change your predisposition to certain thoughts. And why is that useful? Well, remember, 
We can't control our thinking, we're being thought. It's just happening. And if that's the case, then the best we can do in any moment is to distance ourselves from it. But if we wanna function in the world, we need to be engaged in thinking because our thinking moves us. Remember what I said before in videos, two videos ago, that all of our actions are preceded by certain thoughts and states of being? All of our actions are compelled from a state of being, from a representation of what would doing this thing mean. And so if that's the case, we want to have thoughts that create a state of being that is productive. And so how do we have those thoughts when we can't control them? Well, we need to create a propensity for those th thoughts to emerge when certain circumstances arise. You know, if I'm in sales and a particular person shows up in my world, I want to have the thought to sell somebody something instead of having the thought that, oh, this person might not like me or, oh, this is a scary thing to do. I want to have the thought I should offer them something to buy. Just, I want that to have that spontaneously. I want it to emerge like a wave. And how do I do that? Well, I want to set the currents up so that when they meet that wind, boom, that thought happens. I can't control it. I can't make it happen in a moment. But how I relate to thoughts as they emerge and what I do, where I use my, how I condition myself through my practices is what sets me up for the next time there's wind to have a great thought that creates a great feeling that generates a great state of being, being that then is causative of an action which becomes the conduit for my character that also has that state of being that goes into that person and has them say, yes, 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 yes. I would love you to see this in action. I'd love you to see it by being witness to me in dialogue with people, helping them to discover how they can inculcate new ways of thinking, new identities, new realities, not just as an idea that's like, oh, that sounds cool, and then it fades away, but actually the practices of bringing it into your habitual character, how you actually shift the undercurrents. I'd love you to see me do that. And I do it regularly with clients all the time. We could do it one-to-one -one if you really want to dive in, but at least join me in creator's class. It's a drop in the bucket at 100 bucks a month. You get to be witness to four, five, six dialogues that where people discover this and they see this over and over and over again. And you can rewatch the replays. I, they're available for streaming throughout the month. There's a dialogue in our community in the Facebook group around these principles and ideas. There's so much value for you in such a little amount of time and a little bit of money. I'm so excited about it, can you tell? And I would love you to join us. I'd love you to join us. Please do. If you're thinking about it, stop it. Stop thinking, just do it. Today is the perfect day for you to create who you are. You are loved and you are powerful. And I am loving you, I am loving you simply for your being here. I will talk to you soon.